The people who were gone were blown up by, by that gunfire. Blown the, up. Blown up. Blown up. The horrific scene of some of the bodies is unspeakable for the average person. I mean, having been a physician, I've seen things in ERs and, you know, uh, you, you do see lots of blood. Um, but the bodies were literally, some of the bodies were, there was an evisceration injury from, from the power of this gun and the bullets. Uh, there was another person who had an unspeakable head injury, unspeakable. Those are what are seen in victims of war, not victims at a parade. I mean, the, the kind of in injuries that we're talking about with the velocity of the bullets that come out of these uh, semi-automatics, these long rifles, these, uh, you know, uh, uh, weapons of war, they eviscerate organs. It's, it, it's not like they pierce flesh and they go out the other. No, they eviscerate organs. They blow your freaking head off. They literally just tear your organs from into shreds, into shards. There is no coming back from that. There's no, you know, uh, fixing somebody. There's no help for somebody. This is madness. This is, this is just crazy. We've always had these weapons. No, we haven't always had these weapons. These are weapons of war, okay? And they were manufactured by one manufacturer uh, all throughout, you know, uh, the 60s, the 70s. And when the patent expired, 500 manufacturers said, hey, let's market this. And now they're marketing them to children. You know, Daniel Defense, they actually pulled the ad down after Uvalde uh, because they had an ad that quoted scripture. You want to talk about this white nationalism that requires, uh, you know, uh, semi-automatic weapons. But they, they literally quoted scripture about how to raise a child upright and he will never stray. And had a child, a toddler, sitting on the floor holding... An AR-style Daniel Defense uh, long gun, a oh, uh, 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 weapon of war. We've always had that. No, we've not always had that.